This programme contains strong language. Meghan Markle's nephew. No! Yeah, yeah. I'd like to express my sincere condolences to the palace's press secretary. My name is Tyler Dooley, I'm 25 years old. My dad is Meghan's brother, and my grandfather is Meghan's dad, and that makes me her nephew. Oh yeah. Back in the States, I live on a farm. This is Sandy B, my little dog. This is everyone I got right here. Hey! I'm a farm boy. I got really rough hands. These are ranch hands. I cultivate marijuana. It's used for uh, treating patients, cancer, all types of uh, illnesses. I'm sure a lot of these guys are probably inheriting estates, but I bought my own house. I worked for my house. Our little estate, and it's better than a castle. Hey guys, I'm at the palace. I made it. I'm a big personality, I'm a big teddy bear. And <laughs> one thing is, I'm not fucking fake. I'm not one of those people that think that their shit does not stink. Because everyone's shit stinks, trust me on that. I've never been on a double-decker bus and in a storm. <laughs> Megan was just a part of our normal American family and I viewed her as a, as a sister. We were, you know, kind of similar in age. She was fun, we just love her. Legally, I'm a Markle. My last name is Markle, but the Dooley family, that's my mom. We do not speak to her father. When I hit the press that Megan was dating Harry, it's been a really tough journey throughout. My family's been torn apart. Had we had some guidance and assistance, perhaps from the royal family, we could have avoided a lot of this stuff. And there's been a lot of things in the media and a lot of things in the press. I just want to set the record straight. How close are you with Megan? Well, we were born and raised together. We grew up okay. in Los Angeles together. I looked at her as a, as a sister, actually, because we're similar in age. You know, we're only nine, nine years apart. Her siblings are, they're 20 years apart. Wow. So her closest, like, sibling would have been my brother and I. Yeah, we used to idolize her as kids. The personality is unreal. The smile, she was phenomenal. So what's all this negative press about the father and everything? Over here, we've been getting a whole load of bad press about the father, See, the that's, fact that Megan. Dude, that's fucked up, bro. Let me tell you this about Megan. We had very humble beginnings. We all come from the streets. Even Megan, where she grew up in West Hollywood, where we all grew up, it's not a nice place. My grandfather, he worked so hard for my whole family, my whole life. You know what I'm saying? He raised her and put her through school, got her into acting. You know how hard it is to get land, like acting gigs in LA? Oh, totally, it's man. Fucking, that's fucking hard. That's fucking hard. And obviously he should have been there to walk his daughter down the aisle, but he's her father. He loves her more than anything in the whole world. I think it's interesting that through the turmoil that we've been hearing and what they, how they've been portrayed, to see that this is the face and character behind it shows something completely different. And the way he's talking about everything just seems legit, honest, and genuine. He's a top bloke. There's no two ways about it. Just wants what every family wants is a good, solid bond. What did you think of uh, Charles? Walking Megan down the aisle. I support that. Uh, I, mean, I think that would have been the next best pick. Were you invited to the royal wedding? <sighs> See, we all thought we were going to be invited. The whole, the whole family dynamic, it's like, you can never forget your roots, you know? Yeah. Your family that was raised with you, you just for, you can't forget about them. It doesn't matter if it's a royal wedding or whatever but I'm just happy that she found someone that she, that she loves. Yeah, yeah, cool. These pretty vicious headlines about who I am and seeing people's comments, it's been hard, it's been hard. This, the struggles in the last year have been, it put me to my breaking point. People think that I'm in it for money. I work hard for my money and I make a lot of money. You know, I'm just, I'm just somebody that's honest, will give you my word. And if people really knew that, that would just mean, that would mean a lot, you know, and I, I guess they get to see the real me and they get to see who I am, so.